Welcome to Qt Learning Channel. In this lecture, we will discuss the spheroidization. Description of damage. Spheroidization is a change in the microstructure of steels after exposure in the 850 degrees Fahrenheit to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit range where the carbide phases in carbon steels are unstable and it is an agglomeration of carbides forming spheroidal carbides or from small finely dispersed carbides in low alloy steels like one chromium half molybdenum to large agglomerated carbides spheroidization may cause a loss in strength and or creep resistance Affected materials All commonly used grades of carbon steel and low alloy steels including Carbon half molybdenum Chromium molybdenum Low alloy steel up to 9% chromium Critical factors the rate of spheroidization depends on the temperature and initial microstructure. Spheroidization can occur in a few hours at 1300 degrees Fahrenheit but may take several years at 850 degrees Fahrenheit. Analyte steels are more resistant to spheroidization than normalized steels. Coarse-grained steels are more resistant than fine-grained. Fine-grained silicon-killed steels are more resistant than aluminum-killed. Affected units or equipment Furnace tubes, hot wall piping, and equipment, FCC, coker, and cat reformer units, where temperature exceeds 850 degrees Fahrenheit. A typical fluid catalytic cracking unit in a petroleum refinery as shown in image. A typical schematic flow diagram of a delayed coking unit as shown in images. Appearance or morphology of damage Spheroidization is not visible or readily apparent and can only be observed through metallography. In the case of the 5% to 9% chromium molybdenum alloys, spheroidization is form large agglomerated carbides. Example of the spheroidization as shown in metallography images. Prevention, mitigation by temperature control. Spheroidization is difficult to prevent except by minimizing long-term exposure to elevated temperatures. Inspection and monitoring. Spheroidization can only be found through Field metallography Field metallurgical replication Removal of samples for metallographic observation A reduction in tensile strength and or hardness may indicate a spheroidized microstructure. Related mechanisms Closely related to graphitization Spheroidization and graphitization are competing mechanisms that occur at overlapping temperature ranges. At temperatures above about 1025 degrees Fahrenheit graphitization may occur after spheroidization. Below 1025 degrees Fahrenheit graphitization occurs before the steel is fully spheroidized. Remember the differences between graphitization and spheroidization. 
graphitization and spheroidization both were high temperature phenomenon. Graphitization affect carbon steel and half molybdenum steel it is a breakdown of carbides into ferrite and free graphite nodules. Spheroidization affect chromium molybdenum low carbon steel up to 9% chromium. It is an agglomeration of carbides forming spheroidal carbides. Residual stress and cold works accelerated graphitization. For spheroidization coarse grained steels are more resistant than fine grained. Fine grained silicon killed steels are more resistant than aluminum killed. Summary of spheroidization Description Loss in strength and or creep resistance Large agglomerated carbides in 5 to 9% chromium Temperature range 850 degrees Fahrenheit to 1400 degrees Fahrenheit Affected metallurgy all commonly used grades of carbon steel and low alloy steels including Carbon half molybdenum Chromium molybdenum, low alloy steel up to 9% chromium Prevention Temperature control Inspection methods Metallographic test, tensile and hardness tests Practice time. Test yourself. Question number one. Spheroidization is a change in the microstructure of steels after exposure in the temperature range. Answer is C. Question number two. Spheroidization may cause a loss in. Answer is A. Question number three. The rate of spheroidization depends on. Answer is C. Question number four. Most effective for finding spheroidization in steel. Answer is B. Question number five. In operating units such as the FCC, Catalytic reforming and coker, spheroidization affects. Answer is B. This lecture is prepared by Samir Saad and this is his profile. Thanks a lot for watching and please waiting us for the next lecture.